Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today I'm doing something completely different for me and I hope that you enjoy it. I got an email from Nordstrom's sale is starting and I went to the beauty area as I am wont to do and I really, I really didn't see very much of anything and I thought, well, for, for me, <laughs> I'm just going to go to the clothes and see what's going on and I found some things. So I thought, I, I, I'm going to do a video about some of the clothes on Nordstrom's on sale that you might want to take a look at. I kind of have done hours of research for you so you don't have to. This is not all-inclusive. I came up with 34,000 items and that's not going to happen. So then I narrowed my search by size, by larger sizes, because I am a larger size. It doesn't mean that what I pulled doesn't come in other sizes and it doesn't mean that it'll be available at all by the time this gets post, which today is Thursday and I'm going to edit this super fast and get it up today. Um, but yeah, I'm going to move over and show you some pictures and it's going to be weird because they're all on my computer, which is not within hands reach. So I, I got to, I think I'm moving closer. So while I'm cleaning my glasses, I just want to tell you what I searched for. I told you how I narrowed my search down. Well, I narrowed it down even more by looking for dresses and tops, largely because I find skirts, like nobody makes skirts anymore. I didn't think skirts would be that um, fruitful, and I didn't think pants would either. But after I finished and found all these items, I thought, you know what? That was only 18 pages in an hour of my day. So let's go through the pants. So I do have some pants as well, but let's talk about, wow, how my glasses are still filthy. Let's talk about some tops. So what we have here is from Frame. It's called the Boyfriend Silk Blouse, and it's nice 40% markdown. What I like about this is the color. I love a silk. I think silks are timeless. They can stay in your wardrobe forever. I do find, I mean, this is obviously a dupe of equipment, and I think the pockets are bigger than the equipment, so I'm not 100% sure for me personally, but I love the color, I love the elegance, it can go both ways, you know, with jeans or with slacks, and it's beautiful, and it's 40% off. This is from Sync Accept, and it is called the Acris, well, I'm not going to tell you what it's called. It's written all there. This is just a wool sweater, but I kind of am digging the detail at the hem. I, I think absolutely with jeans, but I think absolutely with slacks as well, with maybe a pair of slingback Manolo kind of a shoe. So it's a little funky and a little elegant, and I think it's a little cool. I got to tell you, there's something about it. This ruching on the side can be Pulled so that you can tighten it and make the sleeve a little bit longer or a little bit shorter and I think it's cool. And that was 60% off which is I think very cool. So here we have Vince long sleeve top. It looks to me like a sweater and it's beige and it's a good price. They also have it in it looks like black could be navy from here. This is the kind of thing I feel everybody needs to have in their wardrobe. It's a staple. It's something you go to over and over and over again, but it is something you want to get some better quality because just that with a pair of slacks or with a pair of jeans and a pair of like roper boots, it just, it's to me, it's so, so elegant to get something good quality on a basic top like this, which I think it's a knit top. I'm calling it a sweater. I have something actually similar to this from J. Crew that's cashmere, and I think everybody should have something like this. And I guess this is a good time to say, you guys, that to me, these sales, that's not the time to do the Nordstrom brands. It's not the time to do the halogen and the Caslon and all that stuff. It's the time to buy something that is a little bit more expensive, that has had a better markdown, and it's time to get something more on the classic side. It doesn't have to be classic boring. You can have something a little bit trendy, but that blue sweater, by the way, in a couple of years, that flouncy thing's probably not gonna fly. Guess what? You can go get it altered and have that pulled out, and now you have a blue wool sweater. Do you know what I mean? So you're, these are not 
investment pieces per se, but it depends on your budget. They could be investment pieces, but they're things that, well, that I think are perfect for getting when you have a nice markdown. Okay, this Isabelle Morant shirt, I got the exact dupe of this at Mango, and it, it came in, and Mango's not a place I actually go to, but I was looking for a, I can't say this, I forgot to look it up, if it's broidery or broidery, I think it's broderie anglais, which is something Trini London speaks about all the time, and it's a special uh, stitching, and I, can't, I don't know how to describe it, but it's these white shirts, and I don't have one, and if, you know, she says it's okay, I think it's okay. And I found this while I was doing the search, and I got it on Mango, and it had sold out before I got it, and so I did some more searching, and I found this, and it's like, oh, guess what? <laughs> it's... They duped it. So here it is. It's on sale. It was $360. It's 40% off and they have all the sizes right now as I speak. Check with Mango first. If they, if they, I don't know if this is one of those things that sells out and they get new stock, sells out and gets new stock or what, but it's really pretty and the Mango one is really high quality. I'm sure the Isabel Morant is really good quality. Adorable. Club Monaco. I didn't even know Club Monaco was still around you guys. But this, I have something similar to this in gray that I got at J. Crew many years ago. And that's what I'm talking about. J. Crew, actually, their knits used to be very good quality. I, I, I don't know if they are anymore, but they used to be really beautiful. And mine was a teeny bit shorter, maybe a couple of inches, and I didn't have the slits on the side. And I think my arms went a little bit longer, but not too much longer. And it's just a classic just a classic and I do find if you look if you're a string bean you can carry this off if you're not a string bean and you're more curvy you can still do this too just get yourself some undergarments the kind that kill you I love this color it's a beautiful color making this something that you can wear in climates where spring is cooler and they have another color you could certainly look at. I can't tell what it is because I took off my glasses. It's a really good price and I think it's the kind of thing you can dress up, you can dress down. You can make it a little funky. I wear mine actually a little more funky with a big scarf and mine is, there's a little bit of skin between my boot. So mine is in gray and I wear it with a gray boot. It's a Philip Lim boot and the heel, which is uh, just a flat heel, but it's about an inch and a half. It's like a laminated purple, so it's just a little edge. And then I wear some cool little socks, so when I'm walking, instead of seeing my bare leg, you're seeing just a little bit of a sock that is a stripe, like a blue and a magenta that kind of matches the heel. Do you know what I mean? You can do it funky, you can do it classic, you can do whatever you want. I think it's a nice staple, and I think it's a really pretty color. This is from Waif. Hear me out. There's something about this that I really like, and I think it's because of the line right here. It looks like there's a bustier with a shirt underneath it, and I really like that look. It's kind of popular, the bustier thing with a long sleeve button-down shirt underneath it. I just like that layer. I think it's both um, classic, but edgy at the same time, and this shirt is kind of giving me that. Usually the bustier is in a different color and the shirt is white, but I don't mind this. I'm not in love with the peplum, but I don't know. There's something about it that's really cute, and the price is great. So this is one of those things. It's not a classic. It's not something you keep in your wardrobe forever. It's a little bit trendy, but very pretty, and it's only $33, so in a couple of years when it turns yellow, as all white things do, you can, you know, donate it. Okay, this is a brand, I, I, don't, I don't know this brand, I've never heard of them, but I like this shirt. I love, I'm, I love a stripe. I love a blue and white stripe. I thought this was a blue and white stripe, but it's not, it's gray. So this is one that's not a classic, but it's, it's born of a classic idea, and that is a man's shirt, but it's done a little bit different. Yes, there's ruching in the sleeve, also not classic. So this one is like a giveaway, you know what I mean? It's something that is a little more expensive for something that is trendy, but the discount is very nice. And I, I do love this kind of um, placket. And I could see myself wearing this with a pair of jeans, of course. I actually have a skirt, a linen skirt that is also 
a little bit of a log and look kind of a thing or a little bit more uh, mm, how do you describe it where the seaming is really kind of interesting almost like a military thing but it's it's not um, I think it might look good with that it might be too much we'll see but I actually got this one this is one of the things I did buy and I like it a lot so there you go Okay, this Vince shirt is another one that is classic, born of a classic structure with a little something different. So instead of a cuff, it has like a, a tulip cuff. It, it, there's no button on the end of it. And I love a silk. This looks like it might be silk charmeuse, but I, I'm not sure. The only thing I don't love about this is the breast pocket. I think it's weird. I think breast pockets are very very strange for women because they can just end up in the wrong place depending on the size of your breasts but I still think this is beautiful and again it can go office it could go evening it can go with jeans the one I like the most though is this color this color just is it for me I love this color it's hard to describe it's kind of a lilac but not a, a silvered lilac with an undertone of gray and the same thing with this even more so because it's lighter that breast pocket might show up a little bit more but I think this is a great deal something you'll have in your wardrobe for a long time and a beautiful color now the navy blue one you could probably wear all year round and this one to me is kind of spring so maybe this one is more limited, but this is the one that I just love. I didn't pull the trigger on this because of the breast pocket, but that might be something that doesn't bother you at all. Sink a set. So here is a turtleneck in zebra, and I am not into animal prints at all. I'm really not. But it's green. If this were black and white, I wouldn't even have stopped. But there's something about that color. And it looks like this is something you can do so many things with. You can wear it seasonless. And then I read the description. It's mesh. So there's lining on the bodice, but no lining on the arms. And because it's mesh, you can get a turtleneck look in the summer, which I really like. And the colors are a little bit more summer. There's something about this pattern in this color that just makes me happy, uh, just giggle, giggle happy. I did buy this. And, you know, as soon as I get these things, I will let you know. I'm not going to do a try-on because I'm very self-conscious. You know, maybe if I can lose 30 pounds, I'll start doing that kind of stuff. But um, I'll, I'll, I will let you know what it looks like. But, yeah, I just love that. I don't know why. And sometimes that's what clothes are about. If something just delights you and it charms you and it doesn't set you back a lot of money, you just kind of once in a while have to indulge yourself. It's not forever, but, but that's okay. It just it makes me happy. So this is another one of those shirts, just like the Isabelle Morant. And again, I don't remember, is it broderie or broderie? Anglais. And this is by Rees. I believe that's how you pronounce it. And it's a good markdown. It's the, the style is a little bit different than the Isabelle Morant. I prefer the Isabelle Morant, but I can see how some people would prefer this. So I'm, you know, giving you the option. This shirt from Frame, I would much prefer a better markdown, especially for things that are white, because white just doesn't seem to last for a long time. It tends to yellow. But there's something about this, and I think it might be the shirt and the pant together, that baggy, kind of truly dungaree pant, what you know jeans were made for in the first place, I think was coal miners, and they weren't wearing their tight-fitting, you know, butt-hugging pants they were looking to work in them and I just like this juxtaposition right here but just the same you could do this at night with a pair of slacks or a beautiful skirt you could do it in the office if you work in an office I think there's I think it's a classic and something if you can take care of whites that you would have in your wardrobe for a long time it's classic without being boring I like it Alice and Olivia, this dress, hear me out. I think this is a classic dress. I think this is a dress. I have an Etro knit dress that the patterns aren't like that specifically, but it's just something you wear year after year after year after year. Mine I wear with a baggy suede jacket that is in a tan color and a pair of Robert Clergerie pants that are the same thing, so it's kind of mustardy. 
This is the same thing, you guys. You can wear it with tights. You can wear it with sneakers. I love this look. You can wear it with a leather jacket and some boots if you wanted to. So many ways to style this. and something that year after year after year you can keep because it's classic, but it has a little je ne sais quoi to it, so you can have a little bit of fun with it if you want to. If you don't want to, you can put on a pair of pumps and wear it to work with a beautiful blazer on top of it. So, I like it. Now this is a brand I don't know. I think it's just pronounced Co. And I, I've i never heard of them before. I went on to the Nordstrom site and hit that company. And, and sometimes on some sites they'll tell you a little bit about the company. It has a very distinctly Japanese kind of feel to it to me. A very minimalistic, kind of the Comme de Garçon, you know, Yoshi Yamamata. I, I can't remember if I said that right, but you get my drift, right? This is a classic. It's not inexpensive. This is something you would have forever. And the material is a Japanese crepe, but it has a self-tie waist. You can easily take that off and cinch it with something thick and something interesting, maybe a different color. Or you can do it with black. Or you can do it with a thin belt, depending if you're short-waisted or long-waisted. I happen to have, um, I think it's Yoshi... Yamamoto, but I can't remember, but I happen to have a leather kind of avant-garde vest that I think would look amazing over that. So you're layering the same color, but you're changing the texture to make it a little bit more edgy with some boots is great, but I think you could actually go very conservative with this as well. This is like a blank canvas that is incredibly flattering on so many body types. I love the sleeve as well. It's not tight. It is yoked on the front and on the back. Mm. But I think, you know, I've, I'll forgive it for that. And um, it, you know, has a typical um, pointed collar on it. I think it's really a beautiful dress. And it's the kind of dress I think would be so incredibly versatile. If you put something like this on and it makes you feel good, you'll go to it over and over and over again, and you can style this again so many different ways. You can put something bright over it. You can get some, oh, I have some, oh, I have some bright boots that would work with that too, but it's, it's a, a fabric boot for the leg portion, and it's got a crazy bright with lots of reds and oranges design on it. And you could do something like that with something like this. So, you know, if you're in the market for a little black dress that is a little bit edgy, it, it's, to me, it's very, very stylish. Even if you just wore it like that and didn't do anything to accessorize it, it's, it has a very modern, modest, and yet somewhat edgy, cool vibe about it. I like it. I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, you guys, because I have to like do my glasses and get really close. It says right there what it is and who is making it, and this dress is so beautiful. When you click on it and you get more details and you scan around, that center panel that's over the thighs is lace. And the area over the breast, the bodice area, looks like it's see-through. I'm not sure if there's some kind of modesty panel in here. It kind of looks like there isn't. But honestly, I think this would look... You know how um, Sarah Jessica Parker in uh, Sex in the City would wear her bras blatantly? Like she would wear a backless shirt or a dress. Oh, FedEx is here. Thank you! And um, she was just wearing a bra strap. She didn't try to hide it. You could do the same thing with this. Get a beautiful bra to go under that. It needs to be seen in person to get an idea, but I think this is so, so, so beautiful. And even though it's ornate to an extent, it's not fussy. And I think it is classic and unique at the same time. And, you know, if it comes in your size and you feel comfortable with this, that is something that you will have for 20 years if you take care of it, 100%. Okay, this shirt I did get. It's, you know, yes, I did get the one from Mango, but that's slightly different. Um, and the collar is higher. And this one is, I don't know, there's just something about it that's really sweet. And the price was good. And the only thing I don't like about this is when you click on it, you will see in the back, there's elastic. 
at the waistline, which I don't really understand why that would be. It might be to keep it close to your body, to keep the front close to your body, so the whole thing isn't like skirting away like that. But I'll tell you what, you guys, on more than one occasion, I bought something that I really, really liked, except for an elastic situation. Like I have a pair of linen white pants, such a beautiful cut, but it came with elastic, which is not <laughs> ideal. And I just went to the dry cleaner, had them take that out and put in drawstring, which you can actually have more control over what's going on with the drawstring. And a drawstring's a little bit cooler than elastic because, you know, elastic is a little, I think a pull on, you know what I mean? That's what elastic makes me think of. So this I got, and I'm really looking forward to this one. This is not cheap. <laughs> I will give you that. Actress is a beautiful brand, and they tend to do things that are both classic and tailored and can be a little bit a little bit edgy. And to me, this personifies that. Again, you have to have a certain style to want to buy, spend this much on something like that. And that is a very minimalistic style and you're very comfortable with it and consistent with it, then this just slips right in. If you just want to try on minimalistic to see how you like it or you know certain times in your life or certain places that you go, minimalistic is it. Maybe you don't want to spend that much money because you can find things similar to this for a lot less. But if this is your groove, this is a good deal and it's a beautiful shirt and a really nice brand. Again, I'm not into animal prints, but I kind of don't mind Python. Not for shirts though, for like shoes and stuff like that. But there's something about this, if you can just get over the fact that it's an animal print, or if I can. The colors are quite nice. It is equipment, so the pockets are not as big as the one from Frame. There's something about this. Yes, to some people this would be a classic. I. I don't know why, it's just compelling to me. I, I'm not gonna try to sell this to you and say, yes, it's a classic, you can wear it during the day, you can wear it at night, you can wear it to the office. You can, depending on where you're going at night, definitely office and, and definitely with jeans. Um, I have a striped equipment that I actually wear under a short sleeve sweater. So the collar comes out over and then I get the sleeves and everything and then I have the bottom of it uh, falling out from under the sweater. So that's a look you could do with something like this as well. I'm not 100% sold for me personally, but it's on sale. It's a very good price. Okay, here's another knit sweater. It's designed to look like you have another sweater around your hips and you've tied it out. Now, keeping in mind, you guys, that this is a summer sale, so they are going to be getting rid of some of their fall winter stock and I know for a lot of people you want to buy something and you want to wear it right away if you are guilty of that then maybe the two three so far knit dresses that I pointed out won't work for you but I like this because the tan is very neutral and again you can add things to this add a leather jacket to it add a beautifully tailored uh, dark brown to it you can wear this with boots you can wear it with flats you can wear it with snakes if this is flattering for your body type, this is the kind of thing that you can keep for a couple of years. The work in front of it, the look, the tie in front of it, makes it a little bit more it's right now, as opposed to you could wear this in 20 years. So it's not something that will be relevant, I think, in four or five years, but I like it. Let's continue on. We only have four more things and we got to pants. All right, pants. Chinos are classic. I don't feel that you have to spend a lot of money on something like a chino because everybody makes them. They should be cotton, maybe a teeny bit of stretch. I like the colorway instead of the green or the stone color or the oatmeal color. I like this gray. And, you know, if you're someone who doesn't want to get them inexpensively at, you probably could find something like this at Target, and you prefer to spend a little bit more money, <laughs> there are people like that out there, don't laugh at me, then I think this is something great for summer, you know, all the time. Maybe not winter, depending on where you're living. It's a great building block, and at least it's not joggers, you know what I mean? The next thing is from Ula Johnson, who I feel very 
very certain, but I'm not 100% certain, that she was on Project Runway. And she was the one who did those beachy summer dresses where everyone was saying it's the only thing she can do. And the woman who's the head of the CFD, I don't remember what her name is, but her attitude was more like, so what? It's a very successful segment of fashion and she does it very well. These pants, first of all, I love this cut. The linen pants I was talking to you about that I had the elastic taken out of had a cut like this, so they were slightly balloon and a little bit more tapered at the end. And then there's usually seaming on the side that cuts in like this, which I love. But I also love the pleat detail and I love what they're doing with the waistband. I love everything about this pant except the color. I love this color personally, but to me, I want to make a suit out of this and have a matching jacket. If this pant came in an oatmeal, a white, uh, maybe a khaki-ish kind of a thing, something that would just go better with different things, I would be all over it. And I can see in my head there's several things I could do with this. You could match this up with a dark brown. You could, but but you're you're kind of limited with a color like this. I don't, I wouldn't like it with black. It would be a little too bumblebee. You could do like a, a turtleneck that is kind of cropped, so you're not ruining that waistline. But it would have to be a light neck because this is definitely a summer pant. Yes, blouses. Yes, t-shirts. Yes, yes, yes. But the color just kills it for me because it takes a cut that I like a lot and I think is flattering on many, many, many body types. It just limits it by making it this particular color. For pants, you want to wear them a lot of different ways. It kind of kills it for me, but it might not kill it for you. Now, one thing I noticed when I went through the pants, suddenly joggers are considered pants. So why are there 18 pages of joggers? To me, you can get a pair of joggers at Target. Do you know what I mean? You, you don't have to go to Nordstrom's to get joggers. If you have to go into jogger world, I have two that aren't too insufferably horrible. One, this one has, these, these are tuxedo pants. This one has a satin stripe down the side. This cut can work on many, many figures. I love it with the trainers. It's an elastic waistband, so you definitely want to cover this, but you can actually put some heels on this and put a silk shirt under this and kind of go out with this. I really, really think you can. And then you could, of course, do the sneakers and the t-shirt and maybe like a, a, a leather jacket over that and kind of give it a little bit of edge. I see things you can do with this. I absolutely do. I myself, in 30 pounds, I would do that, but not now. And then the other ones are, of course everybody needs, everybody needs a sequin jogger. The reason I like this is that I think you can do a lot with it. I really, really do. You can make this edgy or you can make this elegant. You can put on a beautiful pair of stiletto black sandals and a beautiful, simple white blouse, like one of the blouses I showed earlier, I think it was by frame, put that over it, and a, a clutch, an elegant satin uh, clutch, and you can take that out and look beautiful. And then you can get a little edgy with it, you can get a little street with it, you could wear it with some sneakers, some kicks. There's a couple of ways you can go with that, and I think in this case, this is fun fashion, it's not forever fashion, you know, if you want to have a little fun, that might be the way to go. And that, you guys, is it. I, golly, golly, I have a feeling, I, I'm not sure how this is going to work. I'm just telling you how I would style things and why I like things and why something works for me, why I'm interested in it, and instead of telling you why you should have this. And it seems to me like most people do the why you should have this kind of thing, but I haven't tried these on. I'm just showing you things that caught my eye that I kind of liked and I wanted to share with you. And my friends, that is it. I'm going to go put this in my computer and start editing right away and try to get this up tonight. And I will definitely let you know when I finally get my stuff, what everything performs like. Thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me. I hope it was helpful to you, and I hope you come back again. Until we meet again, be safe, be smart. I'm wishing you good health.